We're going to start now to talk about fractions. And usually fractions, even the word itself, scares most students. And even adults, eh? if, you, if you ask them, what, what, is the, what is the worst thing about school eh, when you were younger? Most of them will say fractions. Yeah? So um, a lot of scary faces usually also in the classroom when I introduce this topic. However, it is completely unnecessary, trust me when I say completely unnecessary, to feel intimidated or scared about fractions. Okay? And um, I hope after seeing all the videos that you agree with me. Yeah? The second thing I want to say, if you really understand fractions and know how to work with them, and you're not afraid of them, yeah, it's gonna be so useful in the future in all sorts of questions. Yeah? Algebra, yeah? when you're rearranging formulae or solving equations, fractions will become increasingly important. Yeah? So don't be scared of them. Um, they're here to help you. And I just uh, want to show you, uh, like, like in the past, uh, perhaps in primary, you would say, well, 10 divided by 2. Uh, you would write down a division like this. Now, a fraction, boys and girls, is exactly the same, only a different notation. We now say 10 divided by 2, or 10 over 2. A fraction is a division. And 10 over 2 is 5. Okay, and we all know that, yeah? But that is a fraction. Now, is that something to be scared of? No, absolutely not, because you've been doing that for years correctly already. It's just a different notation. And when does that notation become really, have become really useful? It's when you're talking about parts of the whole. So, for instance, I have 3, and I divide that by 4. Yeah, what is 3 divided by 4? It's perhaps a little bit difficult. Well, 3 divided by 4. 3 over 4. It's a fraction, that's the answer. There's nothing to be scared of. Anyway, before I'm going to explain fractions in more detail, this is just a very quick introduction, I have to talk about some language. It's important that you understand the language, okay? So I'm going to introduce a few terms which you need to be, or you need to familiar, familiar with. So, I can't even pronounce that word. You need to be familiar with those terms, just say it like that, okay? Now, if I have a fraction, for instance, the fraction, um, let's say 4 over 5, okay? 4 divided by 5. Then we call that top part, and we'll put a circle over, around that. We call that, as a special word, the numerator. The numerator, yeah? That's a word you need to be familiar with. And the divisor, that bottom part, if you like, and let me put a square around that. We call that the denominator, very good, denominator. Okay, so we have the numerator at the top and the denominator at the bottom. Okay, now if for instance I have the fraction, well, 4 over 5 is an example of it, but also for instance 1 over 2 or 7 over 10, we call those proper fractions. Let me write that down. I'll do that in blue. We call those proper fractions. Yeah? And why do we call them proper fractions? Because they are proper, basically. Yeah? They are simplified. It's 4 over 5. There's not a common factor between the numerator and the denominator. Yeah? I cannot simplify it any further. Further, Those are proper fractions. Now, I think you already get a feeling that, well, if you have proper fractions, then you also have improper fractions. Improper fractions, yeah? And what are examples of improper fractions? Well, that is when the numerator is larger, is greater than the denominator. So for instance, uh, 3 over 2, or for instance, 12 over um, 6, yeah? or if you like, um, 14 over 12. Yeah? Those are what we call improper fractions, where you can still simplify the fraction. Okay? And you need to turn that, an improper fraction, you need to turn that, and that is the next term, into a mixed number. Yeah? So you have to turn this into a mixed number. Now, a mixed number, and later I'm going to show you exactly how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers, yeah? But mixed numbers are, for instance, one and a half. 
3 over 2, uh, the improper fraction 3 over 2, as a mixed number is 1 and a half. And so a mixed number consists out of a whole and a fraction, if you like. Yeah? 12 over 6, well that would be 2, but 14 over 12, that is um, 1, 2 over 12, so 1, 1 over 6, and that's also a mixed number. So mixed numbers are numbers that consist out of a whole part and a proper fraction, yeah? and a fraction. Those are mixed numbers. Okay, now I'm going to put these terms into a nice sheet. You can download it for free from my website. That was just some language for you. We talk about numerators, denominators, proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. And you should be familiar with those words, all right? Now, again, I'm putting it on a, in a sheet on my website, so download that so you have, because you can barely read this properly, so download it from my site. Okay, I'll see you at the next video for some example questions.